Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video and subscribing to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature in Acumatica 2020 R2 that allows us to control the workflow where it relates to prepayments to sales orders. Holding back a sales order from getting shipped if it requires a prepayment is extremely important with many businesses. Now, in previous videos, you've seen how I've customized Acumatic. I created a customization package to allow the system to evaluate prepayment balances and then based on that, disable the Create Shipment button. And that works great, but in Acumatica 2020 R2, we now have some built-in functionality which will handle the job very nicely. So you can see here on my screen, I'm looking at credit terms. So with all sales orders, we have a credit term and a default payment method. So, but on the credit term, we have the ability to select, for example, when should this order get paid? Now, here are some examples, 30 days, uh, split payments, six month installments, COD, that kind of thing. But nothing here allows us to force a prepayment. We can create a terms, call it prepayment, but you really have to monitor it manually. But now in 2020 R2, if we create a prepayment, so for example, prepayment 100%, and we mark this as visible to customers, we now have this new setting called order prepayment settings where we can require the percentage of the prepayment up front. So if we select prepayment, percentage and we enter 100%, create this new prepayment. Now if we create a new sales order, and we'll add an item. Save it. You can see everything is normal here, but if I go to the financial settings and I change my credit terms to prepay, notice the create shipment button goes away. So Acumatica is monitoring the prepayment amount. If we go to our payments tab, you can see there is no amount paid on this order. And we've also changed the status to awaiting payment. So the video you might have seen where we created a customization and we evaluated the payment amount and basically disabled the create shipment button. This works more seamlessly because it actually changes the status of the order so you can monitor it a little bit more clearly. For example, the ability to look at all sales orders awaiting payment might give you an action item to call out your customers and check on their payments. Now, if we create a payment, with our new payment dialog box here. We'll go down and we'll select Visa tokenized. We'll select a smaller amount of only $400 and we'll capture. So now we have a payment here, but again, it's not 100%, which is according to our prepayment term. We're looking for 100% before we let this go. So if we go back to payments and we create another one for the balance. Now you can see Acumatica has changed the status to open and we can create the shipment. So Acumatica evaluates these statuses and accordingly the workflow engine determines what options are available. So this is the right way to do it. Instead, what we did with the customization is we just disabled the button based on the element of the sales order, which was the unpaid balance. So Acumatic has really polished up the order payment processing, giving you better control over orders and making sure that payments are collected before items are shipped out the door. So that's it. This is another video 2020 R2 
specifically on payment processing. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our channel and have a great day.